It's Layla here and today I'm going to be bringing you a spring makeup tutorial. So this is going to be old school style, I'm going to do a voiceover because I kind of don't really know exactly what I'm doing. I haven't really planned it out too much, I, th I thought I would just um, play with some makeup and um, just basically, yeah, just basically film it and hope for the best. Which is basically my motto for, motto for life. I'm going to get straight into the video because battery level camera is not at its highest not sure if it's gonna last the whole time get interested in watching my spring 2021 makeup tutorial then just keep watching so i'm starting out as always using my coconut dream hydrating primer um this one's from i Heart revolution which i got recently and i'm really loving it And my go-to foundation at the moment is the Dream Urban Cover um, foundation in shade 116. This is from Maybelline. I really love the consistency of this foundation. I find that it's very matte but also very high coverage and it always lasts a really long time on my skin. And obviously it's a cheaper foundation so um, I can spend my money on other things. I'm really sorry if you can hear a whining noise in the background. That is my dog trying to get out the door. Can't quite be bothered to get up so I'm going to leave him whining. And then for my concealer, it's always the same thing for me. It's the Conceal and Defined Concealer from Revolution. Um, I've been using this stuff for years. I love it, so I'm not going to change. It's so cheap. Um, actually, they put the price up recently, which I wasn't too happy about. But regardless, it's still really cheap, but works super well for my skin. And for powder, I'm using the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder in shade 2 Medium from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a new favourite of mine. And then to prime my base, I'm using, to prime my base? For my base, I'm using the P. Louise base in room 02. So the first shade I'm going in on my eyelid is um, from the Safe X Revolution palette. And that was Cookie Dough right there. So I'm using that as my transition shade. Just going back and forth in my crease. Um, just to create the base really And then I'm going in with vitamin C in that same palette and I'm just sort of going back and forth over that shade as well Although I would kind of say that it was kind of useless me doing this because the next shade that I go into kind of covers it up But I think I was just playing around at this point trying to see what was working and what wasn't and um, then I decided that I wanted to go in with something a little bit more strong and vibrant. So I switched to Beauty Bay's Book of Magic palette which is a gorgeous gorgeous palette and I've not used it very much so I wanted to have a play around with it. As you can see, I've gone with a purple shade here. This is shade You Do. And I also went in with Sorcery, which is the one next to it, which is kind of like a lighter purple. And I just blended those colours together and sort of made a, a base for my, well, not a base, but an outline for my cut crease, which I'm going into now. So I'm just carving out um, the cut crease. I went back, I think, with the P. Louise base to, to do this, as that is the best product to, um, to do a cut crease with. And then to set that cut crease, I'm just using the shade Vanish, also from the Book of Magic. And then I'm going back in with Vitamin C from the Safe Extra Revolution palette. And I'm um, just laying down a, a base for, um, for the middle of the cut crease. And then I blended in the colour Wish and Bewitched from Book of Magic. These are just like two um, sort of light, light turquoisey blues. Um, which I'm just going to then go ahead and blend together with the yellow just to make sure that everything looks really seamless I know these colours look kind of crazy, but do trust the process because it does all come together in the end And then underneath my eye, I'm going back in with you do um, As my under eye colour and then towards the um, inner corner. I'm going in back in with the vitamin C And then for my um, for my brow highlight, I wanted to create a kind of halo around the eye. So I went back in with that lighter turquoise blue. 
And then I went in right at the top with um, La Sun, which is the golden colour from the Saif X Revolution palette. That was more of the actual brow highlight. And then to create that halo look that I was talking about, which I go around my whole kind of eye with, I use Elixir from Book of Magic. You could totally stop there, but I decided that I wanted to be a little bit extra and add some actual glitter. So underneath my eye, I used La Sun, and I just sprayed my brush with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray um, and to make sure that I got the real pigment of the colour down. And then I'm just using some like actual glitter here because, you know, who doesn't want glitter in the spring look? And then I was just lining my eye with the Revolution Pro Liquid Liner, which I love. And then I did a quick change there, you wouldn't have, that was very quick, but it was me putting my brows and lashes on. I used the benefit, um, get, uh, processing my brow pencil and backstage lashes in Ladies for Lunch. And now we're on to contour, very quickly. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Mocha, and I'm just blending that in. And then for my actual bronzer, I'm using the MAC MSF and Give Me Some, which is my go-to. Blush is the Pixie um, Blush in Beach Rose, which I'm just blending all over. I like to put this on my temples. I think I've told you this before, but it kind of just makes it all blend well together. And then for highlight, I'm using Radio Drive, which I just basically splash everywhere. And then my lip combo is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And um, this is the lip liner in Love Trap, and then I'm going in with Pillow Talk on the on the middle of my lips, which is just an absolute classic, uh, divine colour. Everyone loves it. Everyone knows it. And yeah, that is basically the finished look. I feel like I went really quick towards the end, but I can probably say that was because my battery camera was running out. Um, so I'm sorry if I rushed that a little bit. And then I'm just setting my face with, my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Cooler setting spray. And this is the look complete. I am so happy with it. I mean, I know it's probably not your conventional spring, traditional airy fairy floral makeup, but I am not an airy fairy floral kind of gal. I'm really happy with it. I think it speaks very much me. It's loud. It's proud. And you know what? It says. 2021 post lockdown I'm coming for you I'm coming for you and yeah I just think set set the tone so I'm going to to head off now I'm going to leave you in peace and um yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you next month <laughs>